You heard a lot today about how Shopify is the global infrastructure for commerce on the internet. And there's no commerce without checkout. In 2020, over 450 million people, 8% of the world's adult population, checked out on Shopify. Day in and day out, our core engineering team is focused on ensuring that our checkout remains the best on the planet. We are relentless in our pursuit of this goal, constantly optimizing, constantly pushing our limits. We know how to scale a checkout to handle the volume of the internet, and we've proven it with some of the largest flash sales in history. Last year, during Black Friday Cyber Monday holiday, the biggest e-commerce moment of the year, over $5 billion was processed through Shopify checkout. At its peak, our platform was processing tens of thousands of checkouts per minute. That is incredible scale, but we're not done. We have continued to invest heavily in scale and soon any single shop at any single minute will be able to support the same amount of traffic that we had across all of Shopify at our peak of VFCM 2020. And on top of that, we've also cut our checkout page load times by half. You've also just heard from Vanessa about how you can customize the online store to tell your story. And today, we will bring that flexibility to checkout. In the past, you had two options to configure checkout. Everyone could make small changes through the editor, and Plus Merchants had access to the wild west of checkout.liquid. Our goal all along has been to allow merchants to customize checkout without compromising on the trust, speed, and scale that you depend on us for. Today, we're excited to announce that we're making it possible to extend checkout with apps. We're introducing a new set of capabilities so that you can build exactly what merchants need, from simple changes to the look and feel, all the way through to complex UI and bespoke server-side business logic. These new capabilities include checkout UI extensions, an overhaul of scripts, and a new payment platform. I'm going to throw it out to Manuel now to tell you more. I'm excited to be here to dig a bit more into these apps for checkout, the new way to customize and extend checkout. In the past, customizations required you to hack checkout.liquid. Now, as Dell just mentioned, we're changing the way customizations gets built with apps at the center of our new approach. These apps will be easy for you to distribute, fast for merchants to install, and upgrade safe, so merchants continue getting all the platform benefits as we release new features. Checkout extensions use a new technology that allows us to take your code, host it on Shopify's CDN for fast delivery, and run it securely inside of a web worker sandbox in the browser. This system maintains flexibility, but also has guardrails that ensures the trust and performance our checkout has always been known for. I'm sure you're all eager to see it in action. So this is my store, Plant. I have a nursery and I sell a pretty cool range of plants and products to help them grow. In addition to plants, I also sell fertilizer, which is a regulated product. And since a lot of my buyers are based in California, I'm going to build an app that shows a warning message under the order summary to comply with the local Prop 65 regulation. So I have my development set up already, and I wrote a piece of code here that checks the product meta field to see if they should trigger the warning. It also reads the shipping address to check if the buyer is from California. Now, I wanted to create a warning message UI. With checkout extensions, Shopify will provide you with a component library that your app will use to create custom experiences and inject them at various extension points within checkout. Now I'm going to build the UI for the warning using some of those components. So I'm going to start with a view adding a border and then drop a text block and I have my Prop 65 warning that I can paste in. Jumping into my shop's checkout, you'll first notice that I've done some light customization to the appearance using our new branding API. The branding API gives you control over things like colors, spacing, typography, and more. Okay. So I have my fertilizer in the cart, and now I'm going to change my shipping address to California. And there's my Prop 65 warning, but it's not looking very good. So I'm going to adjust the appearance by adding a few properties specific to my extension. One of the especially cool things about extensions is that they automatically inherit the appearance from the branding API. You don't have to worry about duplicating brand settings in your app. I'll add an icon and wrap them into a bookend for a perfect alignment. As you can see, the extension fits right in. Okay, 
So this is looking good, but now I'd like to add a little something to reward my best customers. For that, I'd like to introduce Gil Greenberg from Checkout Promotions. Gil's going to show us how easy it is to build a more advanced extension. Thanks, Manuel. Hey, everyone. I'm Gil Greenberg, the creator of Checkout Promotions, a Shopify app I've been building on the side for the past year and just recently left my job to work on full time. I'm super excited to share with all of you a preview of how to build a free gift with purchase checkout extension using UI components and APIs. So let's dive right in. Now you've already seen from Manuel how to build up the UI for an extension. So I'm gonna take a shortcut and start from the UI code here. So this looks great, but you'll notice when we click add, nothing happens. What I need to do is use the provided React hook and call the API to add a new product to the cart whenever the user clicks the add button. Let's do that now. I'm now passing a simple payload with the product and quantity I want to add. Now, whenever the user clicks the add button, the product will be added directly to the checkout and I don't need to worry about updating any other UI elements or triggering a full page refresh. Now finally, I'll add a bit of state management with standard React code based off the response I get back from the API. First, I'm going to make sure the offer is hidden once it's accepted. And then I'll add loading state on the button. And with that, we're pretty much done. So let's take a look at what we made. If we go back to checkout and we click add, you'll see a loading state, the product gets added, and the offer gets hidden. So that looks great. Now back to you, Manuel. Thanks, Gil. So let's see it all come together. So I'm opening up checkout with a potted plant already in my cart. The app suggests a free gift with the purchase, a sample of the recommended fertilizer. When the buyer accepts and the fertilizer is added to the cart, our second extension automatically loads and presents the warning. As you can see, both apps are fully decoupled and living in their own code base, yet they can play nicely together. Also, since these apps are built on top of solid APIs, they will always be automatically compatible with new features we release. So before the wheels in your brain get cranking with all the things you'll build with checkout extensions, there's one more thing I want to highlight. With checkout at Liquid, changes like these were not applied on ShopPay. Merchants needed to choose between maintaining their customizations or disabling ShopPay and take a hit on conversion. Now, checkout extensions and your branding settings will show up even on ShopPay. It will all just work. We're really excited about checkout extensions opening up a big opportunity for our partners to build apps for checkout and for all merchants, including those not on Plus. Today, we're launching our first checkout extension called Post Purchase Extension. You can use it to present offers or show content to buyers right after they completed their checkout, but before they arrive on the thank you page. We'll be opening up developer access to checkout extension in other parts of checkout in Q4. So be on the lookout for more information later this year. Let's talk about the backend component of checkout extensibility, Shopify scripts. We released Shopify scripts about five years ago, and it's been used by thousands of plus merchants to build custom logic unique to their brand. Although Scripps is an incredibly powerful tool, we believe it can be even better. And that's why we've rebuilt the script infrastructure from the ground up using WebAssembly. This new foundation will speed up the development process, improve reliability, and make your scripts run much faster. In fact, we've managed to get the most complex Scripps code executing in under five milliseconds. But that's not all. Since scripts execute directly in Shopify, they can scale up and to handle the performance needs of the biggest brands and flash sellers in the world. Now, all these improvements are great, but they won't make an impact without a best-in-class developer experience. That's why we've seriously upgraded the developer tooling. Practically speaking, the biggest improvement that we've made is that you can now build Shopify scripts using your preferred development workflow. Also, scripts are now deployed and installed using apps. So you'll be able to deploy your scripts to multiple stores and merchants will be able to use them without ever touching code. No more copy and pasting. 
Now that you've heard about the changes, let's see what the experience actually looks like. To do this, I'm going to build a script that sorts shipping methods based on carbon emissions, so customers can pick up the most eco-friendly option. Although this isn't a use case that everyone will want, it will show you how incredibly easy it is to build unique checkout experiences with scripts. The first thing I'll do is to use the CLI to scaffold our script project with all the necessary files to get started. When it comes to computing the most eco-friendly shipping option, I know that the biggest driver of CO2 emission is the type of transportation used. So, I've created a library that calculates total emissions based on the shipping distance and the transportation type. Next, I'm going to write a function that takes in the cart information and shipping methods, and then return a sorted list of shipping options from the lowest to highest. Now that my function is ready, I'll wire it all up and the sorted list of shipping options will be rendered in the checkout. As you can see, we've been laser focused on making it easier for you to build the customizations that merchants need to be successful and to stand out from the crowd. Although I built a shipping script for a single store, we envision a future where you can easily turn your script into a public app that's available for every merchant on Shopify. With our new Shopify scripts announcements, you can now get into the business of being a checkout app developer. Now, we can't talk about checkout extensibility without talking about payments. Our partners are a critical part of our payment ecosystem, solving for a diverse set of merchants' needs. In fact, you've generated almost $65 billion in GMV last year alone. That's an astonishing number. This was all done by integrating with Shopify's checkout through Active Merchant and Hosted Payment SDK. Shopify merchants sell all over the world, and new payment methods appear at a faster rate than we can integrate into our platform. That's why we're excited to announce that we now have a better option for all of our payment developers. Shopify's payment platform will replace our legacy integration points and enables you to create payment gateways as Shopify apps. The payments platform has been built to work with Shopify's newest checkout technology stack and will be the foundation as we continue to build new features and functionality. Payment apps will be easy to customize, fast for merchants to install, and enable you to build faster with modern APIs. I want to show you how it works. First things first, you'll configure your payment app in the Partners dashboard. You'll be able to easily configure your app settings, like adding payment methods and country availability. To improve localization, you can change the name of your payment gateway in different languages. This is also where you'll be able to version your APIs. It's like building any other Shopify app. Once your app is approved, Merchants can onboard directly through the Shopify admin. With the payments platform, you now own the end-to-end -end onboarding experience. We will redirect merchants to a page you will host so you can collect all the business and KYC-related information directly from the merchant. We will rely on OAuth for onboarding rather than passing credentials. It's as easy as that. Together with our partners, we're on a mission to build the best payments platform. So that's a lot of checkout announcements. To recap, I showed you checkout extensions built right into the checkout flow, lightning fast checkout scripts, and a redesigned payments integration. We worked very hard on this new infrastructure, and we can't wait to see what you'll build on it.